in this second part, we will go further and do set up some unit tests. Uh, if we now set up the unit tests from scratch, like creating functions and function blocks, and then trying to test them, this video will take a really long time. Instead of that, I created a template project that the link of this template project you can find from the readme file. Let me open the template project. This is the template project and there I have set some libraries. It's called a test library. There is uh, some functions and function blocks. Let's open this test lab function. So you can see there is a function block here and three functions. What is the function? So every box lift is simple operation or simple program to test box lifting logic here. You can go in and check it there. This is a scaling function. This is a simple add value or addition function. This is a subtract function. We will try to test these stuff from the unit test tool of DNR. So what simply I will do is you can open this project and copy this one. And let's go to our test project, library, and paste. Just to active CPU, finish. Our active be uh, sure that you are in the unit test configuration otherwise it will assign it to the production so we have it now and then we have a sample girl unit test sample you can keep it or you can delete it up to you if you need to see some examples later on just to keep it clean i will let delete it now yes and then let's go to template project there is a already example prepared here so let's have a look what is inside you can see there is a file update test program so this is a windows batch file so every time we insert new tests or do changes inside here we have to run this one and it updates the c file which I, which will run the unit test there are two unit tests here what's the ut test calculator and ut test box lift so in test calculator let's go have a look how this works so you see we have an instance of the library utmgr test suite which is actually nothing which is the library here utmgr and here we are doing a, a function test so when we do a function test we don't really need to create an instance of the function function is accessible from most anywhere in the program the second one is a function block test so what we see if we call the variables here this we need to test suite uh, instance of this ut manager test suite and then we have to create an instance of the function block fv box lift from the example uh, from the test clip library, what you see here, FT box clip, we create a f instance here. And the program looks very simple. Let's go to the function test, uh, the unit test for the function test. We open this one. You see, this is how we do. It's just a test, a test case. It says the test hazard. We, uh, we pass uh, values to this FC, add value, and check the output is right or not. If it is right, this is 7, then the test is done. Same goes to the subtraction function. And same goes to the test. This is only one step. We, I just say that I uh, manipulated a variable value, set it once, and then call the function block. And the output of the function block is that it should be 1 of this variable. What this is actually uh state of this fb so what does it mean let's go open the fb lift you see this is the uh, state called select lift is the enum so what i did is i forced this value to true if this is true then it goes to next uh state which is this one so it is one that's exactly we try to do it here so force it one call the instance of the function blocks and then the state should be one if it's done then the test is done as simple as that so let's check if we have copied this one or not we did not yet copy this so this is a unit test sample copy and then we go here unit test and then paste just to active cpu finish all right so now we have set up everything Let's go to the software settings of this one. You see we have running the unit UT2 unit test task here, both of them. Logical view, UT text box, the test calculator here. We have the libraries are here. And what next? Sorry. All right. And yeah. So just to make sure everything is fine, let's click run this one. Continue. Yeah. Update. Yes, we did that. Okay. 
so now what we can do is do a rebuild and let's see your error messages. I take out the message and the warning if there are errors I can directly see them quickly. So that's good, there is no error messages. In the next part, we will see how we can transfer the project and run the unit test.